Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss about the methane steam reforming in the DWSM software. So, this is a methane steam reforming process. In this process, one mole of methane in gaseous form reacts with one mole of steam to produce one mole of carbon monoxide and three mole of hydrogen gas. The molar flow rate of the field is, which consists of steam and methane, is 200 kmol per hour. The molar flow rate of, uh, 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 of uh, methane in the field is uh, 70 kmol per hour and the remaining is steam. The temperature of the field is 100 degrees centigrade and it is at 2 atmospheric pressure. So what will be the product what, uh, and it is entering to a reactor. So what will be the uh, product concentration like what will be the concentration of um, carbon monoxide, hydrogen, uh, methane and water. So this is actually a Gibbs free reactor and the equilibrium constant for this reaction is suppose the equilibrium constant for this reaction is uh, 0.45 suppose the equilibrium constant is 0.45 so what will be the uh, molar flow rate of this pro these products so we will go and what will be the enthalpy change so we will go to the uh, DWSM software first of all click on create new click next to continue click on next and methane this reaction consists of methane steam carbon monoxide and hydrogen is for methane steam carbon monoxide and hydrogen so methane reacts with steam to produce carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Click on next and select uh, system of peanut. So you can use any system of peanut, but I am using the the Finn Robinson. The this this click on next and select system of peanut. I am using the P5. Select next and click on finish. So now go to the reactor and here go to the Gibbs reactor. So this is a Gibbs reactor. This is the field. This is one bottom product. This is the top product. This is the energy stream. So click on field. This is field. So this is field. The field is at what temperature and pressure? The temperature 100 degree and 2 atmospheric pressure. 100 degree centigrade and 2 atmospheric pressure. 2 atmospheric pressure. And the molar flow rate of the field is 200 kmol per hour. 200 kmol. 200 kmol per hour. The amount, the compound amount, so in a mo molar flow. Uh, it consists of uh, 70 kmol is ammonia is a methane and the remaining is steam so 70 kmol is methane methane is 70 kmol and the steam is 130 kmol and there is no carbon monoxide and hydrogen in the field at the start so except okay now this is in the mole fraction in the mole fraction okay now we will go to setting and we will define reaction so go to setting and go to the reaction here define reaction click on this one and this is equilibrium reaction so click on this one and the reaction consists of the uh, here the uh, enthalpy change is given enthalpy change of permission is given for methane and what steam and other and hydrogen this is zero enthalpy change so select this component the reactant and product and this is the basic component so basic component is methane and the stoichiometric coefficient so this reaction is uh, one mole methane one mole steam one mole carbon monoxide and three mole hydrogen one mole methane one mole steam, 
one mole uh, carbon monoxide and three mole of hydrogen so valence is stoichiometry is okay uh, this is okay now this is the reaction this is the equation uh, and the, the base is sp velocity or some other thing so i'm using the partial pressure and the partial pressure suppose i'm using in the um, atmospheric and the phase is suppose it is a vapor phase uh, now the minimum temperature is suppose the minimum temperature is 200 kilowatt and the maximum is 2000 kilowatt uh, the temperature approach is okay the atmospheric the calculation of gives a free energy so the constant value the equilibrium constant this value is suppose this value is 0 0.45 0 0.45 Four, five. This is okay. The delta G at 25 degrees C is given to us. So this is okay. Heat of reaction uh, value is this one at 25 degrees centigrade. This enthalpy change at 25 degrees C is this one in kilojoule per kilo mole. This one. So uh, this is the reaction name. You can name it. Click on okay. So reaction is defined now go to the reactor and here this is the feed connected the product is connected this is stream number two and three and this is the energy okay this is the diabetic okay go to the compound and select the compound methane steam carbon monoxide hydrogen the element so in carbon monoxide uh, in methane there is one atom of carbon uh, there is uh, this is the water in the water there is no carbon so this is the carbon monoxide one atom of carbon so in hydrogen there is no carbon so this is the element elements which is are present in the molecules in the reactant or pro end product so this is okay now this is okay now uh, this is the give this is the give the reactor gives Click on solve. So it shows the invalid estimate. Invalid estimate. So this is the uh, reaction set is uh, adiabatic, but I am changing it to suppose I am changing it to the isothermal. To the isothermal process. Uh, define outlet temperature. So suppose I am using the isothermal. Click on next. And it will take some time. So it is okay. Now it is successfully. So this amount of energy in the isothermal reaction, this amount of energy is removed. 0.313 kilowatt of energy is removed, is removed, and this is the peak temperature. And this is the reactor. This is the reactor. This is the initial Gibbs energy. This is the heat load of the reactor. Is this one 0 0.13? This this is the heat load, and this is the product. So the product this is the product, and here you can check the so methane small fraction is 0 0.5 uh, 52. The water is this one, and this is the uh, carbon monoxide, and this is the so this is the molar this is the molar flow. The molar flow uh, in the product uh, in this product the methane is 0 0.52 kilomole per hour water is steam is 0 0.47 kilomole per hour and 9 kilomole per hour is carbon monoxide and 2 kilomole per hour is hydrogen now go to this the, the bottom here you will see uh, this is this is uh, uh, this is the methane and this is the water and this is the carbon monoxide and this is the hydrogen uh, so here you can check the molar flow rate the kilomole per hour this is the 134 kilomole per hour is uh, uh, one, 134 kilomole per hour is in the top the total molar flow rate of this uh, uh, stream number two is 134 kilomole per hour and this the molar flow rate of this stream is uh, 65 and the total is 200 kilomole per hour 
200 kilo mole per hour the given okay so this is for the isothermal reactor for isothermal reactor and this is the um, uh, so, so, sorry this is this is the conversion this is the conversion this is the mole fraction so 0 0.52 is the more 0 uh, 52% methane is in the in this stream 52 percent and this is the water percentage and this is the this is very small amount of carbon monoxide and here very small amount of hydrogen and here you can see the mole fraction of this is the mole fraction so very small amount of methane and this is water uh, 1.099 and this is very small amount of carbon monoxide and uh, hydrogen so here you can see uh, the uh, uh, so this is the this is the compound here you can see is the methane water okay this is the compound in the product stream this is the result go to the result and here this is the methane okay the phase the dynamic things okay this is the result the input so here you can see the results carbon monoxide water and other hydrogen so this is the this was for the uh, element okay this was for isothermal process now for the uh, suppose the outlet temperature is given suppose if i am putting the outlet temperature is suppose it is 150 now what will be the uh, composition of the this top product and bottom product so click on solve so it shows some error a level object must have a value so again it shows some error some error is ok Okay, now if I change the temperature to 200 degrees centigrade, and solve button. So what will be the results now? So now, if I suppose if I uh, put the product temperature, suppose the product temperature is this one. So what will be the composition of the top and bottom product? So now the top product temperature is 200, the bottom product temperature is also 200, but the composition, I will, the composition here, the composition, this is 34% methane here, and here this is 64%, and this is very, very small amount of carbon monoxide. Here you can see, so there is no methane water in the product because at high temperature all compound is in this this stream in this stream 200 kilo mole per hour and here you can see 0 kilo mole per hour 0 kilo mole per hour so it depends on suppose if I uh, the temperature is suppose it is 1 100 or suppose it is uh, 110 degree centigrade So now this is the the, the 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 reactor duty is this one. The reactor load will be this 82 kilowatt, and here the feed this is the feed the product is at 110, and this is also at 110. Here 0 kilo mole per hour, and here you can see 34 60 64. Here you can see. So this was all about the Gibbs uh, reactor. Thank you very much for your attention. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe.